Hey everyone, this is Man in the Black Hat. And Obsessed Games, hello. And we're back for more Let's Play Skyrim on ResoWalkers.com. One of these days I'm going to be able to say .com in sync with you. <laughs> I'm just waiting. Come on, I can do it, I can do it. .com, damn it, no, I missed it. You'll get there. I will. And when it comes, it'll you... be a magical moment. For those of you who are unaware, and given that this video went up uh, several days after the fact, Obsessed Games has joined the family here at RezoWalkthroughs.com as a Let's Player and Commentator, so hey, check out his Hello. stuff. Why, thank you. Thank you very much. It is good to be part of the family. Well, hi, wolves. Bye, wolves. <laughs> Good night. Oh, unicorn. I feel so sorry for the wolves in this game. <laughs> the fact that they're just minor enemies, even at first level. Yeah, they just... They get destroyed right from the beginning of the game. Yeah. Hell, you stop running into them after a certain level. That's interesting. Enemy scale with level, so once you get past a certain threshold, other enemies start to appear. Hmm, I remember, um, in, uh, Oblivion there was a mod for, com for the computer where, uh, they completely, they changed the coding or, uh, they just allowed for higher mobs to appear. It was basically random mobs, so mm -hmm. no matter what level you were, you got a chance of seeing every kind of mob at every level. Huh. I think it was like realistic um, encounters, something like that. Nah. Although there's a Skyrim mod that eventually I'll have a PC that's boss enough to actually handle Skyrim on the PC. And I'll One start doing the Skyrim cool. mod spotlights for that. Because there's a lot of good ones. Yeah, there are. I mean, it's annoying because uh, I, I'm on a Mac. Let, let the hate flow in. Come on, everybody. Hate on me. I'm on a Mac. Nah, Skyrim's um, good for the Mac, so there you go. It's the first game they've ever had, aside from the first game that was ever on a Mac. Did you know that um, Halo was originally intended for the Mac? Yep. In fact, its precursor is the reason it was going to be on the Mac. Yeah. That's, when I first found it, I was like, oh my god, that's, that's amazing. Of course, we'll probably have lots more Halo trivia for you during Project Halo. Which I am scheduling um, for mid to late July. Which so. I will also hopefully be a part of. Yep. Obsessed Games does or, uh, have a slot on the uh, list of players that are going to be doing Project Halo with me. As does Rezobasso. <laughs> Though, I think, because Game Collector is actually um, not able to join us right now, his slot is currently open. That may change. But we are still looking for a fourth, so... If you guys are good and have a good connection with your Xbox, hit us up on Xbox Live. Mm -hmm. Hit us up on the site. Let us know. If you want to join in, we might have a slot for you. And a good mic. A good mic should be important, shouldn't it? Yeah. I mean, you at least have good radio quality. As in enough that it's actually considered radio quality rather than um, rather than just shitty. Because mm. we're going to be doing it over Xbox Live. I'm going to be doing a live Audacity recording on my end, but all the other people's audio will be through the game. Interesting. So, yes, I will have to combine audio files, but that's okay.
Yay, sneak increased. And we're at level 11 now, so yay more health. Darn it. I really should start leveling one-handed. <laughs> I really maybe. should. Just maybe. Although I haven't really found a use for it, so eh, whatever. Let's see. Atromancy, no. Anyway, yes, what I was talking about earlier, um, before we uh, started just segueing into different topics, um, even though I'm on, a, I'm on a Mac now, I really, I really want to start saving up for a gaming computer specifically just for gaming. I wouldn't touch it for anything else. Sounds about right. You're gonna do your video work on the Mac still? Oh yeah, I mean I've got a, I mean I prefer iMovie over anything else for editing Let's Plays, but I've also got Final Cut Pro on here for my film work. That'll work. Which will help a lot. And there's there'd be no point in buying additional software for the PC if I've got good enough stuff on the Mac. If it's good enough and you're familiar with it, I wouldn't screw with it. Yeah. It, it's worked so far. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Damn right. I use Sony Vegas because that's what works for me. I'm not completely familiar with it yet, but I do what I can. Hmm. What the? Huh. Oh, hi! <laughs> hi, random lurker. Jeez. Warn me next time. You little bastard, sneaking up on me like that. You know, you warn a guy, and he doesn't shoot you in the damn dick. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. Yeah. I mean, I've used both iMovie and Final Cut Pro for mm -hmm. editing Let's Plays. And honestly, I I think iMovie, even though it's a simpler... A simpler, um editing software is I think it's better for editing let's plays probably because it is a simpler editing software sometimes simpler is better it is in this case I mean I would love to be able to use Adobe CS5 to get this stuff done but I don't have the first clue on how to use it I really don't well, to be fair you gotta start you gotta start somewhere yeah, and Sony Vegas is kind of like CS5, only much more user-friendly. So, there is that. This is true. User-friendliness. So important. Yeah. I'm just running through the lockpicks. How many do you have left? Uh, 35. Come on. Nah, but that's at level eleven. That's a fairly good amount. Usually by this time I have like ninety. <laughs> like I said before, I've got over three hundred in my inventory. Damn. Although once I get the MacGuffin for the end of the Thieves' Quest, uh, <laughs> it's usually a smart idea to spend some time and. <coughs> level your lockpick with it, but I found that the detriments are much worse. Also, with that, uh, the MacGuffin, you, you kind of, um, you kind of lose practice, lose a bit of your natural skill. Yeah. Because you just get careless, really. Hello, Bear Trap. Hello, obvious bear trap. Well, at least the bear traps are have always been made to be obvious. You actually do have to kind of hide them. To be fair, they are made for bears. Yeah. Okay, what do we got here? You got nothing? 
I'll take that potion though. And that coin purse. And nobody's got anything I want. This whole area's just got a big bottle of lol milk. And is it just me? Or is the entirety of Skyrim basically built on Draugr Ruins? It seems to be base built on uh, Draugr Ruins. I mean, seriously, these things are frickin' everywhere. Yeah. They're um, even under like normal houses out in the middle of nowhere. I can't even explain it. I, I can't mean, even think of some stupid, weird explanation that makes no sense. I can see why some of them were where they were when you come across the actual ones. Yeah. But when you basically got a hole in the ground that leads right to a Draugr ruin, what? That's not how anything works. I suppose you could think of it this way. How many cemeteries do you see in, in Skyrim? Lots. <laughs> About one per city. Mm. Oh, but I think we've been this way. There's not too many in the cemetery, so I'm guessing that a lot of the bodies go down into the Draugr ruins. That would make a lot of sense. So, if they're still being used as, like, burial places, then... It makes a bit more sense, I think. Yeah. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Nice. Nice shot. <laughs> okay. Get a nice angle and snipe. Ah. Come on. Thank you. Good night. Sleep tight, sweet prince. Best part no, is any person. successful sneak attack raises both your attack with that weapon and sneak. Equals overpowered. No, that was not well, a prince. No. That was a princess. Ah. Uh. And nope. Nothing I want there. These two morans. Ooh, amethyst. <clears throat> Aside from the gold, that's all I wanted out of him. Although I wouldn't mind having my arrows back, but yeah, they don't always. It doesn't matter too much at this point. I can always find more Draugr arrows. Yeah, they have got to be the easiest things to find. And once you start getting Orcish and Glass arrows, Draugr arrows oh, kind of yeah. become your backup arrows. Honestly, I, I saved the Orcish arrows and Glass arrows for, for the bigger enemies. Yeah, I tend to whip those out when I'm going on a main quest line. I should say I barely use the bow and arrow anyway, but still. Actually, as you've been seeing, the bow and arrow is kind of my bread and butter. Yeah. I, you're using it a lot more than your, um, your summon sword. Oh, what the hell? Get the hell away from me! Mr. Um, surprise butt sex right there. Yeah, no kidding. Jump scare anybody? <laughs> Jeez. I'm gonna use this bow and arrow on you. I don't care if you do see me. You deserve it. What humiliation. Yes. Criminy. Where did he even come threat. from? I mean, it's just the fact that he came out of nowhere. And why would he be hiding right there to jump out at somebody? You know what you should do in post? 
What? You should have psycho music. <laughs> Just as he. Da, 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 da. I tried to tell okay, we got a trucks. bunch of bandits sitting around a table. How much you want to bet that I can nail all three before they come after me? I'm, I'm not even going to bet against you. Yeah. Take out the most dangerous first. And... Dead. And Archer is dead. And Lady is dead. Did she, did she technically notice you? Oh, uh, she got close. I think she was about to attack. I think she was about to detect you. Yeah, I, she like, I got her just before she would have gotten me. Nice. Ooh, that can't be comfortable. Then again, he does have an arrow through his noggin, so... Having a sword through his gut... That, to sword through his lung doesn't seem to be bothering him much. Sword through him is just amazing. That that's fantastic. That's one of the best things I've seen <laughs> in Skyrim. <laughs> and okay, that's empty. This is a massive cave system underneath this guy's house. Yeah, no kidding. How long do you think it took him to excavate this? <laughs> uh, too long. I mean, too granted, long. most of it was probably already hollowed out, being that it's a daughter mm. ruin, but still, that had to take time. Time and dedication. And for what? For some asshole to come and just kill everybody in it. Well, I have my time and dedication, they have theirs. <laughs> and now this uh, cave system with a house on top of it is yours, technically. Yep, all mine. I killed it, I conquered it. Okay, there's nothing that way. Hello. Goodbye. Huh. Anyone else want to come out? No? Oh, okay then. Huh. This is why you should never patrol alone. People like me, in black armor, will come by and skewer you in the head. Well, just nobody liked him. Nobody wanted to patrol with him. Well, look what that got him. He would have died either way. Oh, well. Okay, the, seriously, this cave system is massive. Yes, it is. And it looks like it's only partially excavated here. And there's another dead bandit. I didn't kill this one. Huh. So what did? Ooh. I don't know. Maybe he died of boredom. Yeah, true. Or this guy might have killed him. Oops, I missed. And I didn't miss that time, but he survived end, it twice. Ow. He's doing well for himself. Most well, guys don't usually survive two hits. Yeah. Most guys usually don't survive one hit, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, they were ki they were clearing out Draugr. Okay. That makes uh, sense. That makes more sense. That's why he was dead. Okay, more arrows from Mabo. Mabobo. A warning! 
You've all been warned about trying to break into my treasure room, but Roars didn't think I was serious. Now he's dead. You've all had your cut, cut of the take already, and if I catch any of you doing liquors, done liquors trying to break in again, I won't let the traps kill you. I'll do it myself. Sounds what like a fun. person. Okay, there's a sleepy person there. And... Do, 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 do. Whip out the bound sword. Uh-oh. Ah, switching it up a bit, I see. Well, yeah, I still need to uh, level my summon. Yeah, I suppose so. Doop -a doop doop do. Go on, go back to bed. Come on. Did that one just despawn? Ah, uh, could have done. Could have done. Huh. That wasn't completely weird. Uh, nothing there. Nope. However, you're done. <laughs> and Completely no one heard. the oblivious person. Oh, this is going to be fun. I'm definitely not getting through this area <laughs> without being detected. Uh, that's fine by me. I usually just run in anyway. I'm going to plan this out. Lady with a big sword, you're first. Everyone else, you're next. And help her. <laughs> that's another one. Die, die, die. Murder time, fun time. And... You're pretty much dead. I wonder Ooh. how many members of your audience can... can tell where Murder Time, Fun Time is from. Yeah. Kudos to whoever gets it. Yeah, I am curious about... your, um... your... Audiences, uh, style in games, choice in games, I should say. Yeah. Well, you know what you, you know what you guys need to do. Leave a message in the comment section. <laughs> Murder time, fun time. Where is it from, guys? And five gold. And no cheating. Seven gold. Two lockpicks. And that's all I need out of here. Whip out the sword again, just in case. Oh. Speaking of murder time, fun time, I really need to play that game again. Do 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 do. Uh. No. Huh, okay. We'll take it though. No, actually, speaking of. Okay, for those of you who do get the reference. And also, a question to you, Ben. Do you think it would be a good game to LP? Yes. Do you have it? No. No, oh, I was about to ask if you'd like to LP it with me. I can do that, I just need to do it the exact way that you're doing it. <laughs> you know, I'd co-host it with you, but you'd have to play it. Aww. Because I still, I want to experience, like, I've only played one mission co-op. I finished it all solo. Ah. But it would be great to have somebody co-oping with me. Okay. I think I could manage that, it'd just take a bit of doing.
Yeah, fair enough. And more gold. And where's this treasure room? But first, let's level up. Stamina. So I can carry more of my ill-gotten gains. Darn it. Hmm. Can't decide what you're going to go for. Ah, I got muscle, muffled movement. Another Draugr. You mean even more muffled than it already is. Pretty much. Do, 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 do. Remember how she said there were traps in this area? Yeah. Yep. That's a hard one to avoid, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, and we're through. And this one I botch avoiding. No, I don't. I think it's this one I botch avoiding. Yep. Ow. It's got me in suspense. What's gonna happen next? That was a giant log that flew out of the sky. <laughs> and there we go. Yeah. No. Giant spike ball that flies out of the sky. If I hadn't been stealthing my way through, that would have nailed me right in the nuts. <laughs> Okay, time to steal everything here. Steal all the gold. All the gold. I believe the candlestick and its mold are drop offable with Brynjolf or one of the other of our favorite guild members. So I'm just going to take everything. No reason not to. Pretty much. Why would you hold back? Let's be honest, it's not like anybody else is going to use hello. it. Oh, hello. They're all dead. Yeah. yeah, I cleaned this place out. Okay. Search the chest. Ooh, steel plate element illusion. He would draw And a drug war. And that looks like that's it for the treasure room. We're out of here. That was one long... I, I wouldn't even call it a side quest. Yeah, that was, um... <laughs> me randomly finding a place to raid. Yeah, you, you went into a house and then you found... this. A network of tunnels with treasure at the end of it. Yeah. I thought to myself, hey, there's a bandit in here. I might as well kill him. And then I saw that there was a door, a secret door. Secret and cave system. Stuff hey, it's like the back cave. There. It can be your back cave. <laughs> Is there anything worth stealing in here now? Probably not. Oh, potion of true shot. I'll take that. And nothing else. Okay, we're done with that area. And Fantastic. we're totally in a new area. Considered stealing. In case you're wondering, yes, I'm actually editing out stupid transition shots, too. If I really <laughs> don't need to show the transition between various areas, I'm not gonna. This game is open-ended anyway, so why bother? Hmm. <clears throat>
doing a quick inventory check, are we? Pretty much. 259 out of 340 pounds. Now, here's the funny part. The uh, weights for the various weapons are actually off. You know how okay, much what? You, know, you know how much a two hander sword weighs? Like those Y handers that they've got in the game? No. Five Do pounds. Not know. Maximum. This is interesting. And that's for a heavy's Y hander. Most normal's Y handers will weigh around three and a half. But I honestly can't one. say I've ever noticed. Come on. What, am I just that stealthy? Really? Do you not have an amulet of Talos yet? I can take you to any um, I've probably run across them more than once, but Climbing back. I didn't bother. You'd best hurry it up. Hmm, how come? Um, I don't find having the ability to shout quicker that much that useful? Uh First time in Markarth, Traveler. Take my I advice. quite uh you see anything don't get involved. Initially I didn't use my shots too often and then I got my uh my fire breath and I was using that left, right and center. <laughs> Market area is just hey it's not my fault you like to eat jalapenos. Keep your nose clean and you won't have any problems with us. That's where the true dragon breath comes from. Damn right. You just see dragons heading home and then diving into a pile of jalapenos. <laughs> Come on. So, yeah, I decided, you know what, I'm going to avoid that little story arc if I absolutely can, which I don't avoid it forever. Well, it is quite an annoying story arc. Well, <laughs> the funny thing is, as um, because I've got the summon weapons, and there's there he goes. Because I've got the summon weapons, it doesn't matter. Hmm. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna get hurt or anything from not having the proper equipment. The only thing it'll really hurt is not having my special armor with me. And there you are. Why are you looking at me like that? The Dark Brother. Oh, oh, I. My goodness, you're really here. The Black Sacrament. It actually worked. Um. Yeah. No kidding. I need is for Elaine Dufont to die. I want him hunted down and murdered like the dog he is. I didn't know it when we were with each other, but Elaine is actually the leader of a band of cutthroats. Bandits. They're holed up in some old dwarven ruin. Rald with R. It's near Windhelm. They use it as their base. It's where they stage their raids. I want you to go to that ruin, find Elaine Dufont, and kill him. I don't care about his friends. Do whatever you want with them. But Elaine has to die. Excellent. Once Elaine is dead, I'll pay you. In gold. I've saved up a bit. I hope that'll do. But, well, there is one more thing. If you're interested. If you can, I want you to kill someone else as well. You don't have to, not as part of our deal, but if you do, I'll pay you even more. It's Nilsine Shattershield in Windhelm. If Nilsine dies too, I'll make it worth your while. I planned to kill Elaine myself, you know. Nilsine too. Lost my nerve. I even brewed a special poison. Lotus extract. Maybe you could use it? Just coat your weapon with it. Then... You get the idea. I went to Windhelm to see the Shatter Shields. They were old and dear friends, and in mourning, Frigga was killed recently. Murdered. 
I met Elaine in the tavern, while I was drinking my sadness away. He was handsome and charming. He said I was the beautiful lily of his dreams. Elaine made all the pain just go away. But it was all lies. Elaine used me. He ruined my name, destroyed my friendship with the Shatter Shields. Do you know why Elaine was in Windhelm? He heard about Frigga's murder. He wanted to befriend the family, in their grief, and rob them blind. Elaine used me to get close to my friends. And now they all think I'm some kind of... monster. Elaine Dufont took my life, and now I'm taking his. Okay. We've got two Damn, targets. That was a long conversation. Yes, it was. We got two targets, and we're going after Elaine Defont first. Not only because he's the nearer of the two target, but because it's actually a good idea to get him first, because otherwise it's a long walk. Okay. Let's see, I want to be on the other side of the river, so... <laughs> what? <laughs> Get some hunting done while I'm out here, too. Naturally. Every little bit of sneak damage helps. Hmm. And it's empty, huh? That is weird. Oh, that is a beautiful night. It is. It is indeed a beautiful night. Both moons are out. All the stars, you can see all the constellations. There, Those are actual constellations, by the way, not just a random skyline. In the, the, the funny thing is, in the original use... release, it was just random skies. But, and then they changed it. Yeah, there was this one release patch, not too long after the uh, initial release date, that change the skyline so that at night you actually had actual stars in actual constellations. By actual constellations do you mean real world constellations or Skyrim constellations? Real world constellations. Uh, okay. I was sort of expecting like the constellations that made up the um, all of those level that would, up I think they did add those in, but they also were lazy. <laughs> Naturally, because that, that, that's how it always works. Yeah. Just happens. These things yeah. happen. And an ice pile. And upward we go. Upward and onwards. To Slowly. greater glory. Of course, once I get sneak high enough to where I can make it so speed isn't affected by stance, I can sneak all the time. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Freaking ninja at that point. Pretty much. Aw. I missed. You'll... At that point, you'd be walking up to people and shooting them in the face, and they won't even notice. <laughs> Been there, done that. Come on. Honestly, sneak. For those of you playing at home, sneak is your biggest friend in this game. Yep. Come on. Jeez, that took a while. Yay, it's dead. Arrow. Ice pile. Ice to meet you, blood boy. 
<laughs> yeah. And no. You know what would be interesting? Huh. I mean, it would be it would be a pain in the ass to do, and I don't expect anybody to ever do it. But for somebody's um, playthrough of Skyrim, it'd be interesting to have like a map set up showing the showing whoever looks at it where they've been in that order. Nice. I I think it'd be interesting to look at, but like I said, a pain in the ass to do. Yeah, that would require way more um, Photoshop talent than I've got. It'd certainly be interesting to see the mess of lines. Yeah. Yeah, Where's the pile? Huh. Well, that blows. It robbed you of your glory and your reward. It did at that. And you went a bit Scottish there. <laughs> uh, I have a tendency to randomly go into a completely unrelated accent. Nice. Okay, is this where I want to be? Yes it is. I just want to be going the, the that way direction. Because I'm on the stairs up now. All right. Time to go to the Dwemer Ruins. Yay, sightseeing. Funny thing is, dwarves are not actually dwarves. They're just Persian-styled bearded elves. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, I hate I hate the dwarves. The, those assholes. They couldn't just stay dead. They had to leave stuff behind yeah. to attack you. Oh, I don't mind that. It gives me good target practice. Hmm. Ah, there we are. It does. This does sort of show. The Elder Scrolls coming into a bit more of uh, an industrial feel, though. Yeah. Although, from what I've heard, the MMO is going to be set well before even the first game. Hmm. It's going to be in. Uh, it's going to be in the age of the first empire. Yes, before the first emperor, as I remember, right? Which would be uh, Ismir. Or East Grimoire, one of the two. E something. Have you seen, uh... Oh no, it was Talos, Have you seen was the first Emperor. Yeah, Talos was the first Emperor to unite all of the Dominions, I believe. Yeah. Under one, under one rule. That's right, he served under an Emperor, my bad. And he became the emperor because of his dragon blood, and then you had the amulet of Talos. Yeah, he actually out. he actually had the amulet of kings. Yes, that was it. Sorry. Huh. Oh well. And this area is fairly easy to get through. You can go through it one of two ways. You can brave the fire, or you can go the long way. Honestly, there's no problem with going through the fire. True, but this gives me more people to kill. Yes, and so if you are looking to level up, this is probably a better route. Well, that, and I have the distinct feeling my Dragonborn is a sociopath. <laughs> What makes you say that? Oh, because he goes interesting places, meets interesting people and their cultures, and kills them. And then wipes out said culture. Ooh, I think I got a unicorn on a person! 
No, I did you not. You might just have. I did Aww. not. Aww. Looked like it. It did. It genuinely did. Okie day. Start recovering what I can from these guys. Ooh! Oh! Right in the mouth! Almost a unicorn. A little bit higher than it would have counted. It looks more like a chinicorn. <laughs> Okay. Elaine Defon is dirt fucking simple. Find him, line him up in your sights, kill him. And no then armor done. and wow. no weapons on job him. Job half done. He's got no armor, so, you know, dropping him is dead simple. Archery increased to 29. Sweet deal. Ooh, oh, that's not comfortable. I'm gonna be nice and drag you off the fire that you died on. <laughs> that you killed him on. Lane, I'm taking everything. Ooh, right through the noggin. If only it had been the front of the head, then we would have had a human unicorn. Mm hmm. Now the funny thing is, is, there's an alternate way to kill Elaine Defont, which is light the fucking place ablaze. Hmm. You do that, and he burns to death. Which is probably what I did, considering I was a, I used fire as a battle mage. Yeah. Thought I heard something. <laughs> I've always found that using fire at the lower levels is really helpful. I... Ow! I was... I was a pyromaniac. My character is definitely a pyromaniac. Fire spells, fire breath... I prefer to be a summoner. It's just really handy. Ooh, sneak. I probably could clear this dungeon out, but um, that's incredibly dangerous. I think you'll... I'm pretty sure you'll be back here uh, in a future quest anyway. Pretty much. So we'll clear it out then, with much better weapons and armor. <laughs> At which point you'll just be blitzing through as a ninja. Yes. Because I will have my sneak maximized by then, hopefully. Oh, almost certainly. <sighs> oh. Yeah. If I did, if I haven't said it before, the reason I really dislike using the MacGuffin that you get at the near the end of the Thieves Guild quest chain is because it makes sneak attacking impossible with a bow. So it's fine if you're like me and you just charge into battle with a sword or spells. Pretty much. Not so good if you're trying to do the sneak approach. Yeah. Trying to do the sneaky approach just winds up with you getting detected, even though you shouldn't be. Or they miraculously dodge your shot. They just conveniently bend bend down to pick up a... Oh, no, they'll go, like, 15 right feet moment. to the right or left of where you're shooting, even though you had them dead to rights. I think that animation would have been fantastic of them just picking up a gold coin. <laughs> yeah, gold coin! It would have fit in with the general reason as to why... You can't get him either, because that's supposed <laughs> to be... She's cursing you with bad luck as long as you've got it in your possession. Because mm. you're supposed to bring it right back. 
Yep. Of course, if you level your, um, if you level your, what is it? Your, level your smithing to 100, and level your lockpicking to 100. The synergy between those two will make it so you can forge unbreakable lockpicks. Yes. So at that point, why bother? You can have an unbreakable lockpick. Although, once you reach the higher, reach higher levels in the game, you only need lockpicks for doors. You don't need them for chests because, let's face it, you're rich enough, you're powerful enough, you've got all of the the best gear. There is no need for you to be searching through chests. Pretty much. I found real quickly that the best way to get through the game in any decent amount of time is to completely ignore um, most of the random crap that you'll find. Oh yeah. You only get stuff that you know is worth something. Do, 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 do. I was actually considering just slaughtering the entire family. But no. <laughs> Ooh, we did unicorn her. It's Told about you we'd do it. Time. And I'll take the arrow back. Because that arrow is getting mounted on a wall. <laughs> the first human unicorn arrow. Yep. Besides, I really don't want to leave evidence behind. I'm sure that would come back to bite me in the butt. Nah, I'd be fine. They just think a drogger just randomly came into the house and shot her in the head. <laughs> oh, if only. Hey, guys. Oh, God. go away, man. You all right? Did you see what happened? Deal with your quest line later. You don't have to say sorry to me. The sad thing is, even if you do the Forsworn quest line, which, you know, the Forsworn are right, um, nothing happens. You don't get, you don't get not attacked by the Forsworn. They'll still attack you. Well, so it's completely worthless. Nothing, nothing really seems to have changed in the end. Yeah. Got exactly what he deserved. And I heard about Nilsine. You have more than fulfilled your part of the bargain. Please, take this as payment and a symbol of my affection. I'll never forget you. Well, if you're if you're not going to forget me, I could use a. a no. Thank you again for resolving really? my. Really. All right. <laughs> oh well. Anyways. Ignored. This is Man in the Black Hat. And Obsessed Games. And I think it's time we ended this episode, so we'll see you next time for more Let's Play Skyrim on ResoWalkthroughs.com. See ya. Damn it, so close. <laughs>